Good evening, everyone. It's Sharing Wellness, Promoting Health Wednesday, and tonight we're going to talk about a healthy gut. Um, maintaining a healthy gut can actually create an overall healthier you. Um, unfortunately, most of us don't think about gut health unless we have a problem like constipation, diarrhea, or pain um, in that area. But if you can shift your focus just for a little while, um, you can um, shift your health because our gut influences many of the body systems um, and actually has more influence on some of the body systems in our brain or heart or any other organ and it's deeply connected to our overall function. So our gut health refers to the large and small intestines also called the colon or bowel and it, which is about 34 feet long and performs a variety of functions to help keep us healthy. The term microbiome is also used um, for the gut as well as the body. One of our gut's primary function is to break down our foods into nutrients so our body can absorb them. <clears throat> and it also houses billions or trillions of cells creating a symbiotic system. So our gut offers um, these cells uh, the microbiome, a place to live, and they help us do our job in breaking down our food, releasing nutrients, as well as many other body functions. Our gut also has 300 to 500 different kinds of bacteria, along with virus, fungus, mold, that's what's known as a microbiotic or microbiome. So the microbiome and all the food and everything that we eat that our stomach uses to function work together. And even though most of us is this microbiome, we're only actually 10% human cells, the, back, the microbiome that influences our health the most is the microbiome that resides in our gut. So what does our gut influence? It influences our immune function, our blood sugar, our weight, our cardiovascular health, stress, emotions, glandular health, our mind, our mood, our respiratory and neurological health, energy, <clears throat> and it relates a lot to inflammation and pain. In fact, scientists have linked gut health to obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, um, many of the inflammatory bowel diseases, some colon cancer, anxiety and depression, autism, and arthritis. Toxicity is a huge culprit in gut health. We're exposed to many toxins daily through the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. And these toxins end up in our body. The CDC believes that the average person, you and I, have over 300 harmful chemicals in our body, and that's been found in our urine, our blood, and our serum and breast milk. And chronic illness is affected by environmental toxicity and may be one of the most important health crisis facing us today. So toxins actually travel from our gut to all parts of the body. They come in through our environment. Our gut microbiome becomes imbalanced, producing endotoxins, fueling chronic inflammation, toxicity, and can create a lack of energy, as well as fuel many of today's chronic diseases. So if we have a toxic environment in our gut, we can have toxic health. So how do you know if you're out of balance? Well, you may have an upset stomach, gassy, bloated, indigestion, heartburn, constipation. Um, you may be eating a high sugar diet. You may have recently um, gained some weight unintentionally. You may have some sleep disturbances or fatigue, some skin irritations, autoimmune conditions, food intolerances, moodiness, anxiety, sadness, leaky gut, or pain or some chronic health concern. So I'm gonna share some tips with you on what you can do to improve your gut health. One of the biggest things you can do is to drink clean water, clean filtered water, not bottled water, not tap water, clean filtered water, because water is needed by our body for our cells to function properly and to help our body flush out toxins. So it's time to say goodbye to those sugary drinks and lots of caffeine and replace those with clean filtered water or herbal unsweetened teas. We also need to eat more plants, fiber, and fermented foods. 
our gut health functions its best when we eat the food the way God created it and the way it's produced in nature. So you want to avoid as much processed foods, simple carbohydrates, and sugary foods as possible. Focus on eating low sugar fruits, lots of veggies, including green leafy ones in your salad, fermented foods, sauerkraut, um, kimchi, <clears throat> kefir, kombucha, and yogurt. And this will help to create um, and feed the good bacteria in the gut, not just the bad bacteria, because processed foods, sugars feed the bad guys, healthy foods feed the good guys. So remember, a healthy microbiome keeps a healthier you. You also want to eat lean proteins and healthy fats. Um, protein sources are now available even for, um, for vegan. You can focus on plant-based proteins. Healthy fats are essential to our overall health. They lower the risk of heart disease and stroke. They promote lower cholesterol, triglyceride levels, as well as helping to maintain a healthy blood pressure. You also need to reduce your sugar. I know it's really difficult um, making dietary changes, especially when it comes to sugar, and especially this time of year, because our sugar consumption has ramped up through the holidays. So begin thinking of sugar and high carbohydrates as one of the main things that feeds the less desirable microbiome. So whenever you stop feeding something, they're gonna get hangry. You know, when you're hungry, you get angry, hangry. So also giving up sugar switches the body to burn fat. So hang in there because you eventually get everything in control as they fall back in balance and that's gonna help with your sugar cravings. Um, there's some products out there like Stixated that can help with sugar cravings. And um, if you click on the link that's gonna be in the description later on, you can download the ebook with links to help you for food lists and servings. You also want to manage your stress because stress not only affects our emotions, it affects our digestion as well as the functioning of the body's immune system. And 80% of our immune system comes from the gut. It also increases pain and inflammation throughout the body by activating the sympathetic nervous system. So managing your stress is going to greatly improve your health as well as your weight, especially if you're a stress eater. So some tips for managing stress would be deep breathing. There's lots of deep breathing techniques in the market, breathing in through your nose, out through your nose, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just start taking the time to learn a technique that works for you. You can also add some essential oils to your day in a little inhaler or diffusing them. Some of my favorite oils for stress are lavender, bergamot, sweet orange, and cedarwood. Um, there's also many blends on the market like Refuge or Paradise that may also help. Exercise is huge. There's something to be said for a walk outside in the fresh air. A 15 to 20 minute walk will help energize you, um, giving your body those feel-good endorphins, um, and that's going to reduce your stretch. If you can't exercise, I always recommend the Chi Machine, even if you can't exercise because the Chi Machine's a great product to use in your home every day that's going to help you manage your stress. You also want to make sure that you get enough sleep because sleep's when our body cleanses and repairs itself and not getting enough sleep throws your body out of balance, opening yourself up to a variety of health problems. So for better sleep, 30 minutes before bedtime, turn off the technology, eliminate caffeine after 3 p.m. and I'm not going to tell you to eliminate sugar because you're already working on that. Commit to a sleep schedule, go to bed and get up at the same time every day. And if you have trouble sleeping, there's melatonin, magnesium, uh, lavender, essential oil. Diffusing it or making a spray for your pillow can be helpful. Many of you may want to take pre and probiotics. Most of the probiotics on the market have a prebiotic with them. And probiotics are going to help populate the good bacteria in your gut. And there's some products on the market which support healthy permeability um, and help purify the gut and balance the bacteria. So um, I hope that helps you on your tips to uh, promote gut health. And don't forget to click on the link to download the ebook. And if you have any questions, send me an email. Have a great week. I'll see you again soon.